And this device can measure PM 2.5, CO2, TVOC, temperature, and humidity. So quite the powerful device. Let me try and turn this on and see if it has a battery in it. Whoa, it does. It has a battery built in, so it's not plugged in anything, and um, it's already reading uh, information. So it does take some time to catch up and determine the air quality. I just had it in the box for a long time, so it's going to take a moment to kind of catch up. But that is the M10 Plus, a very, very nice uh, constant on air quality monitor that um, I definitely am going to keep running in the room. I have uh, asthma, so things like this really, really help me um, regulate uh, my environment. So if I realize it's uh, getting a little stuffy, I can open the window. Um, I can have fans, uh, humidity control, or even uh, air filters to try and get through some of this. Thankfully, it hasn't gotten too bad and i um, living pretty comfortably thanks to devices like this. Now you can see in the top left, we do have a battery level there. So it tells you how much battery it is. Uh, there's also volume, so you can uh, have it give you an alert if the air quality is too bad. You can also change the settings to air quality index, go two levels, TVOC, and PM2. And you'll see that PM2 actually looks pretty high, so it'll be interesting to look into what's causing that. Uh, so I'm very excited to do a little more research and uh, see what this is like. But again, it takes about 10 minutes uh, to obtain accurate results because it has been packaged for a while. So we'll leave that running for a while and I'll get back to you in a couple days. But the thing I really like about this is it has the actual color readings. I know it's not a color screen, it's basically a black and white screen, but they give you the red, yellow, and green readings here. So if I'm like, I don't know what 100.3 PM 2.5 is, but I know that red is bad. And if I go over here and change it to CO2, I don't know what 926 is, but it's in green, so I know it's good. So uh, yeah, I'm a big fan of this device. I'm gonna leave it running for, uh, obviously forever, but I'm gonna leave it running for about a week or two here and uh, let you guys know what I think if I notice anything too crazy.